kind of like what Brandon was about to do to my girl. But he just had that look on his face. And then I knew it might have been too late. Last time on 340 Yori Animations. This random guy that I met at the gym for not more than 30 minutes literally just walks into my life and told me that my girlfriend was out acting like a thot? How am I supposed to take that? Is this guy a savior? Or did this guy just ruin my love life? I was hurt and confused, but I had to find out the truth. I asked Cassio to tell me exactly what he saw go down. He told me that if he was being honest, there was no way he could know for sure what she did after she left the party, but he did see what happened in the party. I mean, that would be weird if this guy was just stalking a random girl all night. But then again, he was eavesdropping on my conversation, which was already weird. Yeah, maybe this guy is a little weird, but none of that matters. If he had any information about my girl, I needed to know. But pretty much he ended up telling me he just saw her being hella friendly with this guy on the FAU football team. Like, I'm single and I don't have a boyfriend friendly. Cassio said at one point she was even sitting on his lap and laughing. She was probably <laughs> laughing at me while I was at home thinking about my loyal, loving girlfriend and how we were so happy together and I didn't want to lose her. Yo, fuck this girl. Now, even though I had a strong gut feeling that everything Cassio was telling me was true, if you watched part one of this video, you would know that I was a huge simp for this girl, Sarah. And because of that, I would ignore all the thought signs that she was showing me. But this Cassio guy just seemed genuine, a little weird and nosy, but genuine nonetheless. So I wanted to believe him, but I loved this girl. I needed proof. So I told him I couldn't just confront Sarah about this empty handed. She would just deny it. So Cassio made a suggestion. He told me that the FAU football team held parties every Saturday, and it wasn't his first time seeing Sarah at these parties. And he also knew the guy that Sarah was flirting with that night. His name was Brendan. So he suggested to be my double agent. Literally, like 007 type shit. He wanted to set her up and catch her in the act. At this point, I don't even know what's going on. This is all starting to feel like some type of reality TV show. But fuck it, there was no turning back. I agreed. Special Agent Cassio acquired. So fast forward a couple of weeks and my dog Cassio is so committed, bruh. He was showing up to every FAU party every Saturday just to see if she would even show up. Like, bruh, I hardly knew this man, but he was riding so hard for the gang like, yo, that's my dog. But he had been showing up to these parties for weeks. All this relentless partying was starting to weigh on him, especially because Sarah hadn't even shown up. And on my end, I was getting ready to call off the operation. And right when we were about to call it quits. Hello? Bro, she's here and she's not alone. Damn. That's all I could say. My heart felt like it was gonna fall out of my chest. There was almost no words to describe the heartbreak that I was going through, especially when it goes down like this. But I had to snap out of it. The mission was not over. You see, on this particular night, Sarah had told me that she was going to her aunt's house. Stop the cap. For a birthday. Stop the cap. With her family stop the cap and because it was her aunt's birthday she was going to be spending the night and she wasn't going to be able to text me her boyfriend back very often <sighs> i hate girls so the very first thing i did was text her and asked her how's everything going this girl responded with oh yeah everything's going great we're just about to start cutting the cake she lied. She lied straight to my face. This girl said she was about to cut the cake. More like give up the cake. My blood is literally boiling at this point. I had to see this through though. So I took a few deep breaths, played along and responded with great. Have fun. I rushed outside. I got straight in my whip and I was heading straight for the FAU campus. Meanwhile, back on FAU campus, Agent Cassio was about to embark on his second part of the mission. 
Since he knew Brendan personally, it was his objective to make sure he kept an eye on the situation. They had no idea he was my double agent. Like, yo, we were about to catch them on a real life episode of Cheaters, bruh. Gotcha, bitch. So at this point, I'm like more than halfway to the college campus. And then I get a call from Cassio. <laughs> yo, I'm so sorry, man. Brendan just told me that he's about to take Sarah back to his dorm and they're leaving real soon. I can't stall him for much longer, fam. You know how it goes down after this when someone's trying to secure the cheeks. There ain't no stopping him. Bro, I almost crushed the phone in my hand, but there was no time to waste. I pressed the gas so hard I had to have been going 100 miles per hour. The GPS said I had like 20 minutes left, but no cap, I got to the campus in like five. The boy was going fast and furious in that hoe. Kinda like what Brandon was about to do to my girl. Then boom, Cassio met me outside the dorms, but he just had that look on his face. And then I knew it might have been too late, but I had came way too far to turn back now. Me and Cassio started sprinting to Brandon's dorm, turning corner after corner after corner, then bang! The timing couldn't have been any more perfect. I saw Sarah and Brendan making out right in front of me. I couldn't believe it. But at this point, I wanted to embarrass her as much as she embarrassed me. So with quick thinking, I know she hadn't noticed me down the hall yet. So me and Cassio hit around the corner. I took my phone out and I called Sarah. Hello? Where are you right now? What do you mean? I told you. What's the matter, Sarah? Where are you right now? Nothing's wrong. I'm just... You're just what, Sarah? I turned my head around the corner. She heard and saw me looking straight at her from down the hall. Gotcha, bitch. Her face was priceless. Brandon was also confused. Turns out he didn't even know Sarah had a boyfriend. And luckily, he was actually a good guy. So instantly, he read the situation and understood what went down. And from that point... I didn't really do or say anything. I just left. She knew what she had did to me and I had lost all my respect for her. So why would I even try and fix or comfort the situation? And after that, I never really spoke to Sarah again. And I know some of y'all might be thinking, damn, why? Why didn't you snap on her? You just gonna let her get off the hook with that? But if I learned anything from the situation is that even if someone does something wrong, doesn't mean you have to stoop down to their level and return the wrongdoing. Overall, it made me a better man. So if you're watching this, thank you, Sarah. Thank you for being a thought.